Hello, Didier Stevens here with another video on GNU Radio Companion that you can use without any dedicated hardware like an SDR. In previous videos we used different uh, sources like a, a sine wave uh, source, actually it was a cosine wave, um, and uh, a noise source. Here we are going to use a source that uh, reads a wave file and uses that audio uh, that you can then further process. So you need a, a wave uh, file, a source, and uh, yeah, that's something that you have to find here in the modules. Now with Ctrl F you can search here. So Ctrl F and let me type wave like this. Okay, so in audio I have a wave file source. So I select this. I'm going to do this without repetition so that the wave file only plays once. And then here in uh, test user documents, I can find here a recording like this. Now this is a WAV file that was uh, recorded at uh, 44.1 kilohertz, uh, so the typical frequency for WAV files and that's also the frequency of uh, compact disc uh, audio if you're still familiar with that. So I need to change my sample rate here to 44,100. And then in my audio I need an audio sync, so the speaker, like this. I can connect this, save it. So, wave. And then I can play it. This is a wave recording. So that was a, a recording that I just made here and uh, I'm playing it back uh, using here GNU Radio Companion. Now if I change the sample rate here, if I put it at 48,000 like I did with the uh, other examples, then I will actually use a higher sample rate than the sample rate with which the wave file was recorded. And let me play this back. This is a wave recording. So now you hear my voice with a higher pitch. And would I have used 32,000? So a sample rate lower than the actual sample rate. This is wave recording. So now you use you hear my voice much lower. So let's come back to the actual sample rate 44,100. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to put uh, in a filter. Uh, remember we talked about uh, filters and uh, I used the bandpass filter here. Sorry, like this. So I'm going to insert this here. So float floats. And again, I'm going to use the frequencies of the telephony system. So 300 to 3000 Hertz transition of 10. And then I can play back my wave file. And now you will hear that it sounds like coming out of a, a telephone handset. This is wave recording. So this here and this here is just actually the same as in the previous uh, video that I made, the previous examples, but instead of using a, a noise uh, source here, now we are using a wave file and then yeah, you can uh, process any sound that you wish as long as you can create a, a wave file for it. And just one last thing that I'm going to show you here is to make some echo. So let me remove this. 
So an echo is actually a repetition of the signal but with the delay. So you have in a uh, new radio companion a module to introduce delays here. So let me use that module. And then what I want to do is combine the wave file without any delay together with the delayed wave file. So for that I need to add, so that's something we also did uh, here, mat operators. And we are going to do an addition like this. and everything needs to be in float like this and the delay here if you look in the documentation the delay is uh, specified uh, in the number of samples so since my sample rate here is 44.1 I'm going to use that as a delay so I'm going to delay this for 44,100 samples, so that, that's one second. And instead of typing 44,100, I can say sample rate, like this. And you see here appearing 44.1. So, my original audio is going from the wave to the addition to the audio sync. And then I'm going to delay this same audio and put it here in the addition to the audio sync. And now we can play this and you will hear an echo of uh, one second. This is wave, this recording. Is wave recording. As you can see here, you heard the recording twice. But it's not uh, uh, a uh, re really natural echo. So I'm going to speed this up a bit and I'm going to uh, do this uh, one tenth of a second. So divide the sample rate by 10. Uh, here you can actually input a uh, Python expression. So this is a variable divided by 10. So let's play this. And you will hear that this sounds more like a natural echo. This, this is a wave recording. recording. And now what also uh, typically happens with uh, echoes like that is that the the second and sometimes the third, and you can have more than one uh, echo, so that the, the second signal is, is a bit uh, fainter than the original one. And that's also something you can do by multiplying here with a constant. So let me add this. And so float float. And I'm going to divide this by 2. So I'm going to add, multiply this with 0 0.5. And so my signal here will be half like this. And then I can again listen to the echo. This, this is a wave recording. Okay, so here you had some simple uh, examples uh, to show you how you can use GNU um, Radio Companion here with wave files and then do some simple tricks like uh, filtering and to have a certain audio effect or, or echoes like uh, here I did with the delay.